Oh yeah, baby. You ready for another round two matchup? We have a good one, man. We have a Twitch streamer. His name is Davy H. Please check him out. And he's going up against a tough guy by the name of Montana679. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Are you listening? Ricky J. Sparks. What is going on, people? Thank you so much for tuning in. And before this fight starts, I just want to tell you guys that the winner of this matchup faces Romero17. You know the guy that a lot of people are calling the uncrowned champ. And, um, man, so this is going to be a nice little scouting report for Romero. And right away, we have Davey H as Mr. Cruz. And then we got Demetrius Johnson for Montana. And right away, man, these guys are like... Just standing there face to face, toe to toe. And nice combo by Davey forcing Montana to back up a little bit. But Montana's doing a nice job at hitting up the body. Both guys are doing a great job at just going up high, then going down low. Nice body kick, nice jab lead hook. Davey's got some crisp striking. And a lot of people would argue, I know. <laughs> Some people were um, commenting about how some people are using Cruz for the stand and bang only tournament. But Cruz has some nice flowing strikes. He has good stamina and he has great footwork. So, you know, that's the reason why people are using him. And he is um, pretty dynamic with his strikes. But the thing is, you got to really put some volume onto your, uh, re you know, your striking repertoire to really win the fight. You're not going to win with one shot with Dominic Cruz. He's kind of like a semi pillow fighter. But um, when you get hit by a pillow like 150 times, you know what? It's going to hurt, man. So um, a nice job by both guys. Things are pretty neutral. Nice. Oh, man. People need to be so careful when you throw that kick to the body that, um, you know, you leave your head wide open. And I don't know if you know about Davey. Please check him out on Twitch. But he's always up there in the leaderboards. And Montana is just a solid fighter. He's been playing this game for quite some time. Um, I've locked horns with him before, and I'm sure you have too. So this guy's a crafty veteran. It's like two good, solid veterans just going at it here. Nice. I really like how Davies planting his feet and just going with nice two-piece combos. But two pieces that are going up high and down low. You know? Oh, he's got to be careful there. Oh! <laughs> what a try. Both guys trying to take each other's head off. Nice. He's just picking away at him, isn't he? Davey's just picking away, but Montana, he's got that stamina advantage. He's doing a nice job of just relaxing, you know, absorbing some shots, but... Oh, a nice head movement by Davey, though. This is a very even matchup. And you know Romero has got his notepad out. <laughs> I don't know if he wears glasses, but he's got his notepad out. And he is taking notes for both guys. I could just see Romero with a, a clipboard and a T-chart with Montana and Davey on <laughs> each side and just <laughs> listing the pros and cons of each fighter. But... Uh, that's how calculated Romero is, but this is just, it's, it's in a way it's a coincidence that, you know, my last video was, uh, you know, on patient fighting, you know, it was on a patient fighter, and then, was it on Romero? I think it was on Romero, I could be wrong. It's been a long day, let's be honest, but now the winner of this fight faces him. So both guys, you know what I like about both guys here? They're not just brawling it out, you know? They're not just throwing crazy strikes. They're keeping their stamina up and keeping their combo short. Now, if you just started out playing this game, that's one of the best ways to, to win fights. Look at this rock right here. Because when you land one shot, you have a good chance of doing damage. And both guys, look at this! And I don't watch these fights. But that's ex ex exactly what I've been saying, you know? Keep your stamina high, you get a, a shot in there, you're going to hurt your opponent. But if your stamina is low, it's not going to do as much damage. So always keep that stamina high. But this is a very even round. Oh, man. Montana 
you know, I don't know if you should be doing those, um, as uh, Cormier would say, high action. <laughs> what did he say when uh, Michel Pereira, I love that name, by the way, when he fought high action, high energy um, attacks. Oh, got to keep that stamina high and just pick away at your opponent. Oh, there was like a hiccup in animation there. Why is that happening sometimes? That bomb in the last video, do you remember that bomb animation? I don't know if you saw that, but that totally caught me off guard. And same with my dog. And my dog is now barking away, but... Nice. Good job right there. Wow, he really jumped back. <laughs> Did you see that? He really took a step back. Nice knee. Beautiful knee, and he's on wobbly legs. Oh, th that kick too. You, if you don't have a lot of stamina, that kick's not going to do a lot of damage. Nice. Good job by Montana, though. Montana is battling back, even though he got rocked a couple of times here. And I don't know if you hear my dog, but my dog's watching, and he's barking at the screen. Wow. Nice head movement. He's looking for that flying knee, but he's telegraphing it, in my opinion. Telegraphing it a little too much. And in my opinion, Montana just needs to keep things simple. Keep it simple. And it's crazy how Davy's stamina is so low. We're going to be in zombie mode. And for the record, I'm battling a cold. <coughs> so, uh... I feel like I'm Michael Jordan for all you 90s kids out there. Michael Jordan, 1997 against the Utah Jazz basketball. Things were crazy, man. He was battling the flu and he still managed to, what, drop 38 points. And the Chicago Bulls won that, what was it, game five, wasn't it? But um, I think my dog was a Utah Jazz fan. But anyway, let's see what happens right here. It seems like Davey... Is uh, these <laughs> I don't know if you hear that in the background, but we're gonna keep on rolling, people. We're gonna keep on rolling. But Davy is managing that stamina. He's trying to um, keep it to a point where he can have that center of the octagon. And look at this. It was almost looking like things were swaying towards Montana's way. Oh no! Why would he do that? Why would he do that? You got to give it up for Montana for taking chances. Montana's doing a nice job taking chances. Nice head movement by Montana. Oh no, he's hurt. Oh my goodness. And it's weird. I'm just looking right here. These guys didn't set it to stand and bang. Come on, people. You're in round two. You should know that it should be stand and bang stats. Or stand and bang fight. You could tell by the middle of the screen up top. You would think that these guys would uh, <laughs> know that by now. But anyway, it's all good. It's all good. Let's just hope we can clean things up for that third round. You know what I mean? Again, there's another weird hiccup in the animation. I don't know what's going on. Where are these guys from? Uh oh. Oh, it's done. Just like that. It is done. And Davey gets a leg up. <laughs> no pun intended, but he gets a leg up in that first fight. And now we are off to the second fight. And let's see. It was really even. Let's be honest, come on. It was really, really even. But let's see if Montana can even up the series. So don't get things confused here. So Davey is now in the red corner. Montana's in the blue corner. And the thing is, <laughs> some guys, after that first loss, they start going into berserker mode where they go bonkers and just <laughs> start, <laughs> you know, fighting out of their element. He's got to keep it together, man. Yeah, you lost the first fight, but who cares, brother? we got to be defensive, too. And uh, in my opinion, one of the most deadliest guys to face in this tournament is a McGregor, man. He has bombs in his hands. Oh, nice. Davey. It seems like Davey's now finding his groove. 
It's interesting that he's going orthodox with McGregor, but wow. He does such a great job hitting up that body. And I wonder what Romero's thinking right now. He's thinking he's better bring his A game for that next round because both of these guys are great opponents for him for sure. Won't be a cakewalk. Better be training with Ed Paca. <laughs> but right here, oh nice. See, in my opinion, I don't like that kick because all it takes is a nice little step to the side. Oh nice. Wow, that came out of nowhere. That definitely came out of nowhere. Oh my goodness. And it looks like oh, Montana's hitting that panic button. And Davey's having some fun in there. He's got to be careful, though. He's got to be so careful. Nice. Again, if Montana could sidestep that or step back, it really takes a lot of stamina out of fighters when they don't hit that jumping sidekick to the body. Nice. Good idea by Montana. Good idea. Nice knee to the body. Oh, look at that subtle head movement. I'm really a fan of this Davy guy, man. This guy is putting together a nice performance. These two veterans just going at it. Oh, no. <laughs> down he goes. Part of my cough, man. But down he goes. And Davy is trying to punch his ticket into the next round. And that's the thing. I know the baseball playoffs are going on. Let me know if you've been watching the baseball playoffs. But Montana's go. He needs to go with the home run hits here, man. He needs to go with some home run strikes. Nice, great way of getting out of those strikes. He's got to go for something big, in my opinion, because he just he doesn't have the gas in the tank, and his head is just scrambled. Nice, but you know I would stick to kicks, stick to knees. You have, that was a beautiful kick, by the way, by Davey, but you've got a guy that specializes in, in kicks. You know another thing with Barbosa, man? He's fallen off the map, man. He was knocking on the door for a title shot, got up to the top four and five, and then he's just been outclassed. And, yeah, my dog is a Barbosa fan, if you haven't uh, heard right there. But let's just see what's going to happen at this point. Oh no, down he goes. And again, you can't grapple. This is stand and bang only. Oh no, look out. Oh, I'm telling you, this Davy guy, this Davy guy has got it going on. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no, look out. <laughs> what happened? It was like we were watching a, a Street Beefs fight right there. He turned his back, grabbed the cage, and that was that. What a fight. Let me know your thoughts on this guy, Davey. And let me know your thoughts on my co-host, my dog. Oh my gosh, he was just, he was loving the fights or hating the fights. But anyway, I'll end off this video. Have a great day, people. This is Ricky J, baby, from Ricky J Sports. And you are awesome. The worst feeling in a fighting game is losing. Either getting KO'd on the feet or on the mat. It is not a good feeling when you lose to somebody. Better yet, losing by submission. Just as an unbelievable negative feeling. Or what's worse is even losing by split decision when you guys know deep down inside that you're better than your opponent. Well, in this video today, people, we are looking at what's the worst way to lose in the game. And I have an example for you right here in a video in a recent fight, and I'm not gonna tell you if I won or lost, but I'm gonna tell you this is, in my opinion, by far, the worst way to lose. Check it out. All right, here we go with another online rank match. And every time I face Jacare, you know you're going to be <laughs> either in a clinching battle or in a ground war. But I've been on a tear, people. I've been on a tear using Weidman. So let's see if we can continue this. And let's see what this guy has. Now I'm being careful. You got to be careful against Jacare, and he's good on the feet, man. 
Jackson. He's got good punching, but he's kind of got like raptor arms though. He doesn't have a long reach. Ooh. <laughs> this guy's going for the crazy uppercuts early. Yeah, and I'm noticing he's a boxer. My opponent's trying to be a boxer right now. But you never know deep down in his back pocket. Oh man, if he's got that clinching game waiting. Yeah. I think he's just testing it out on the feet. Oh no, he did try to slow dance. Did you see that? <laughs> He gave me the the sign of that he wants to <laughs> catch down, catch me down with a slow dance. Oh boy! So now I'm aware of that, but I already had that in my in the back of my mind. See, there it is. He's reaching, baby. He's reaching for those cookies. But see. He's going to try to cut down the distance, man, and go for it. He was able to block that big punch to the head. Good roundhouse kick to the midsection. Trying to keep my stamina up. Unless I have an opportunity, then I'm going to go full throttle. Oh, boy. Oh, I don't like that knee. <laughs> Sometimes when I do that, I don't even mean to do it. I'm trying to go for a body kick. There we go. There we go. Up, down, up, down. Big roundhouse kick. Jacare gets rocked by that straight left. They are exchanging here, Mike. He's doing a good job. Gotta watch out. I want my block to start blowing up there. Yeah. Big left hand. Wow. Big kick just missed. Oh, we're swatting flies here. <laughs> we're both swatting flies. Oh, there is a take. Oh no. Jacare's takedowns are quick. Oh no. The denying dingo. Remember that video? <laughs> this guy. Oh boy. Okay, I gotta stop kidding around. Okay, I'm not gonna talk, man. Gotta concentrate. Concentration. Concentration. There's not a lot of time left in the round. I gotta survive this. See, it's okay when he's not posturing. Uh oh. Oh, oh no. Oh boy. Man, just hang on. Hang on for dear life. So based on that little last minute of the round, this guy won the round. And he's a champion. But I don't understand why this is not a title fight. Oh well. So let's see if we can do a better job. Let's see if we could do a better job right here. Oh, I know why it's not a title fight. I lost to like a... What's his name? My buddy Joker. I forgot. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, get out of here with that. So I'm noticing this guy is using a lot of hand strikes. He's not really utilizing his feet as much. And that's where I could use my distance. There we go. I'm just backing away, getting in kicking range, but trying to avoid being in punching range. See that? But, oh, he tried to sneak a kick in there. Oh, his stamina's low. Joe, that was well done, right? Yes. I got to watch out for those back kicks, though. You missed those. He's going for that takedown. But Jacques Ray's slowing down. Oh, no. Oh, he had that opportunity. Oh, nice. Good combo. Oh, that would have rocked him if that kick landed. Oh, he knows what I'm doing. Oh, that softened him up. Softening up those eggs. <laughs> and this is what I want from him. I want him to get into that brawl mode so I can back away and counter fight. 
under two minutes on the clock. Jacques Ray's boxing, showing some great boxing skills, man. Yeah. And he knows I'm starting off with the body. I gotta switch it up. Gotta switch it up. Oh, this is intense. Do you feel the intensity? Oh, did he snap that kick? What a jab. Oh, big kick, 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 kick. Oh, There we go. Give him a little something different. Hard straight punch. Oh, very nice. Yeah, he's he's not able to block that that high kick. Great yes. Kick. Oh, I got him backed up. Let's go, Jacare. Oh no. No! You can kind of see when those clinches are coming, when you have low stamina close to the fence. Yeah, this was Weidman's round. This was Weidman's round. And it's 1-1, baby. Going into the third round. I would say the scouting report on this guy. He likes his boxing, and then he likes to hit up the clinch every now and then. But if we can continue what we were doing in the second round, it's two rounds to one. Well, let's see what we could do. Mutual respect with the fighters as they enter the third round. I don't know why I got all UK on everybody. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I did not. This is a forced slow dance right here. Yeah, I denied that. And get, I got to get out of that. Sorry. I gotta break up that slow dance. <laughs> the dessert bar is open. Oh, I rocked him. This could be it right here. Oh, big right hand. right hand. Oh, I gotta watch out for that. Oh, he's he's playing with fire though. Oh. He's playing with fire. We'll look for him to switch up his strategy. Oh, he's unloading the tank. <laughs> you see that? He's get. I think this guy's getting frustrated. Oh no! Oh boy! Oh boy! <laughs> Time out! I got a phone call. <laughs> Back away! Imagine. Time out. What's the weirdest timeout you could do in a game without in a fight without losing? You could say that your pants are falling down. See, he's attacking, but his stamina is down, man. Anything is possible here. Yeah. A little belly tickle action. Oh, no. Oh, boy. He is turning deadly. I'm hurt. He's parrying great. I need to be careful. And he's, he's probably winning this round, too. But I got to be careful. Oh! Go! Go! See, I don't want to mess with that. I don't want to mess with Jacare. I know maybe somebody in the comments say, Ricky, trust your ground game. Trust your ground game. I don't know, man. Not against Jacare. Oh, and I see that he's doing that. Yeah, give him a taste of your own medicine. Oh, These guys are still going at it. What a crazy fight. It's anyone's fight. Oh, he's rocked again. But Weidman doesn't have anything left in the tank. Oh, nice. This guy's good, man. This guy's good. The champ wearing the shorts. Oh, he's hurt again. Oh, this is going to help me win the round, hopefully. Not a lot of time left. Oh, yeah, come on. Three, two, one. It's over. The worst way to lose. And then he quit. That is by far the worst way to lose. Oh, man. With one second on the clock. Buzz on Beta Weidman. <laughs> oh my gosh. So there you have it, people. What a fight, man. 
So let me know in the comment section below, what do you think is the worst way to lose? That's right there. If it's the worst way to lose, it's probably the best way to win. Because that example right there was the best way to win, in my opinion. But the worst way to lose, if you know what I mean. Anyhow, people, this is Ricky J, baby, for Ricky J Sports. And you are awesome.